Talk.com. Next is question number 8 from exercise 6.2. Question number 8 from exercise 6.2. The question is using the converse of BPT, using the basic proportionality theorem, the converse of basic proportionality theorem, prove that the line joining the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side. We have to prove that the line segment joining the midpoints of any two sides is parallel to the third side. That is the next question. Given that a line segment is drawn by joining the midpoints of any two sides. of a triangle. We have to prove that or we have to show that this line segment is parallel to the third side. This we have to prove. For that, here also we have to draw a rough sketch. It's a triangle ABC. And this is the point D, which is the midpoint of AB. And this is the point E, which is the midpoint of AC. In the figure given that, we are starting the proof. From the figure, D is the midpoint of AB. D is the midpoint of AB. It is given that D is the midpoint of AB, which is given in the question. Given. Therefore, AD is equal to DB. Therefore, AD is equal to DB implies AD by DB is equal to 1. We are naming it as equation number 1. Similarly, E is the midpoint of AC. Similarly, E is the midpoint of AC. That means AE is equal to EZ. That is AE is equal to EZ. Which implies AE by EC is equal to 1. AE by EC is equal to 1. We are naming it as equation number 2. In the first equation, we obtained the result that AD by DB is equal to 1. Similarly, in the second equation, we are getting the relation you are getting the ratio or the value of ratio AE by EC is equal to 1. That means the right hand sides of equation number 1 and 2 are equal. The RHS of equation number 1 and 2 are equal. Therefore, the LHS of equation number 1 and 2 are also must be equal. That means we can equate the LHS of equations 1 and 2. Equating. Equating the left hand sides of 1 and 2 we get we are getting the relation AD by DB is equal to AD by DB is equal to AE by EC here we have to apply the converse of BPT, converse of basic proportionality theorem by converse of BPT. Therefore, by converse of basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem, converse of BPT, we are getting DE parallel to BC. We are getting the result by the converse of BPT. DE is parallel to BC.
we are getting the result DE is parallel to BC by the help of or with the help of basic converse of basic proportionality theorem we are getting DE parallel to BC this is the thing which we have to prove hence we proved the result hence proved the result this is a very good question so note it as an important question and study well okay